Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to yet another video of the Kundalini series. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I know firsthand what it feels like to tell people about your Kundalini experience and be looked at like you are batshit cray cray. Okay, so this is very much why I wanted to talk about this today because I was thinking about it and I was like, Do you know what? It is so important that we keep our experience sacred and some people just are not ready to understand or hear about your experience because some people just don't understand some people just don't get it and we just need to kind of like come to a place where we're like okay some people just aren't going to get it and there will be a select few people that will but before we get into this video don't forget to subscribe if you vibe <laughs> what was this? this is well cheesy don't forget to subscribe if you don't forget to sub oh my god i cannot talk to don't forget to subscribe if you vibe and hit the bell button down below to get notified if any time I upload, I upload every single week. And this is part of a whole Kundalini series. So if this is the first video that you're coming across, check down below. There'll be a link to the playlist of the Kundalini episodes. It should support you through your Kundalini awakening. Leave a comment down below if you've got any funny stories about telling someone about your Kundalini awakening and what their reaction was. Because yeah, I've had some interesting reactions. <laughs> you've just got to laugh at it. It is funny. You've just got to laugh at it because at the end of the day, it's understandable, isn't it? My point here is you have to be picky when you are sharing your Kundalini awakening experience because some people just don't get it. Some people just don't understand it. And the reason I am so aware of this is because I didn't understand it when it was first told to me. I didn't know what the Kundalini really was before it happened to me. It happened to me spontaneously a year and a half ago. I don't know, even when it happened to me, I even questioned whether it was that. But deep down, I was like, I'm sure that was a Kundalini awakening, but I didn't really understand what it was. I just heard about Kundalini yoga. I'd done some Kundalini yoga before and it didn't really make sense to me. I, I, I've i seen that people were like trying to invoke Kundalini, which I still also didn't understand. I didn't understand what the whole energetic side of it was. I just knew that there was like this symbolic sign of it was a snake. So. Yeah, I didn't really get it. And um, I had a friend that had a Kundalini awakening experience. She told me about her experience before I even understood it, I had one myself. And I was thinking like, what is she talking about? And, 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 and I was on the spiritual journey as well. So, you know, I have experienced myself tell people who are very, very open-minded, who are very spiritual, who are on this path as well, that I've had this experience and I've explained it all and I can genuinely see that they are just like uh-huh <laughs> okay <laughs> because I was like that I genuinely was not really sure what my friend was going on about when she was first telling me I was just like I couldn't comprehend it I couldn't understand it because I just couldn't comprehend it and I think that's where this kind of sits at is like people can't comprehend it because it's so out there you know, it's such a crazy experience. It's so intense. It's so like overwhelming that it, it, it is just one of those things that like people just don't get. They just don't get. So to start off, you have to be picky. You have to be picky about who you're going to share it with. People that you feel like you can trust, you know, that won't judge you. People that will support you. People that do actually believe your experiences because I don't know why people would want to make this up personally. I I don't know why people would want to make this up. It's really hard. It's been really hard. I feel like I've not had it as hard as I know some people have. I've ha I've known people to have a really, really tough time, but everyone has a tough time in their own way. Um, but the reason I think that this is an important subject to talk about is because it's really important to keep your experience sacred. Keep it sacred. Keep it close to your heart. And I know I'm out here on the internet sharing this um, everything about mine, but for me, this is a safe place because the people that are coming to these videos and are watching these videos are people that are genuinely lost, confused, unsure, maybe just curious, you know, like have had an experience and want to hear about other people's experience, whether there's some resonance there. Maybe you're experiencing a symptom that is just very, very unusual and it's not your usual self from before Kundalini and you're just trying to find out more about what you have had happen to you, what you've experienced. So I found so much support through watching other YouTubers talk about their experience. So that is why I've created this whole playlist about Kundalini because I just want to help people out. I want to make sure that people have got a place to come to when they need it, when they need it most, a place to come to to gain support, to even start conversations in the comment section with other people that have had experience if you are feeling alone. Because if you are feeling alone, you're not alone. 
you're not. This is a safe space for you to come and share. There's other people here that are in the same boat as you that are watching this video. I find when I go on videos, I do look at the comments and it's just nice to feel that resonance when you've experienced something so out there and unusual and different it's so nice to experience resonance off of other people for people to be like oh i experienced that too so you just don't feel so crazy because sometimes you can feel a bit crazy because you're like this is so weird like what is happening to me that's why i created this that's why i wanted this space i know when i had my experience how much i was seeking information because i was so confused i was just like did i didn't i like but i experienced this has anybody experienced that i feel like this is new in my life right now but is this part of the kundalini or is this just like this so i i just i just went deep deep i deep dived into youtube and was just like researching and finding out so anything that i've experienced anything that i found that i was trying to look up i'm trying to share here so that people have got that because there were some things that i couldn't find there were some things that weren't talked about and i do keep it very very real big part of my kundalini awakening has been about coming back to authenticity coming back to truth coming back to the the realest version of you, it helps take down that mask. I know being authentic isn't something that we can just do overnight in the snap of a finger. It's something that takes time to unfold, to unravel, you know, because you're actually unlearning to relearn. So, you know, we've built up so many habits to show up a certain way in society. Maybe you've tried to fit in a lot, you know, maybe you've tried to act a certain way to be seen, to be heard. But like, it's all about coming back down to the real truth of who you are as a person. So a lot of the things that I express here is, is about being authentic and it's about just coming back to you. And I think the Kundalini energy is all about that. It's like the Kundalini snake spirals up, comes out of you, like all the energy bursts through your body like a, an orgasmic explosion. Like the snake, like the snake, oh my God, <laughs> like the snake sheds its skin it's like you're peeling that away as well like you're you're also shedding your old to be reborn again and i think that is just what it's all about it's you're being reborn again you're being energetically reborn again your nervous system has been shaken up to be put back into alignment it's uh, it's had a you know a reboot you know you've been revamped and and in that process yes you will find darkness you will be in a dark place so you want to make sure that when you're going through this process when you are going through the dark night of the soul because that does happen after your kundalini awakening at some point um you know you do want to make sure that you do keep it sacred and you do share it with people that will support you rather than people that will judge you because it will just be incredibly triggering it's not going to help you by telling people who are going to laugh at you or kind of you know maybe turn their nose up or be a bit like yeah cool um because you know i've had experiences where i've told people and they they just don't know what to say and i and i almost have realized like i maybe i don't think i should have shared that because one i think they think i sound crazy and two like i really don't feel seen i don't feel like i'm being believed i don't feel heard and you know to have a conversation with someone that has also experienced this sort of awakening is so healing i cannot even tell you i was literally with one of my really good friends yesterday who has had a kundalini awakening she's actually had two major ones in her life because the first one that she had she was like early teens so like 14 15 which is very very early and back in those days none of this stuff was out like the internet wasn't available for her to go and do research like people definitely would think that she sounded crazy and then she had another one in the later years of her life both times were really hard and both times were also equally beautiful and i actually want to get her on my channel we were talking about this yesterday and i want to get her on and i want to get her to just talk about her experience so all the people that have come across my videos about kundalini can actually also hear my friend's side my friend's experience my friend's journey and it's been very different um she's had very different experiences from me but what point i'm trying to say here is that speaking to her there's so much resonance and you feel so seen and you feel so heard and you're like i'm not alone i there's actually people out there that that get it that understand that like you can say like i experienced this and then this happened and they're like yes that happened to me and you're just like thank goodness having a space a safe space to speak to people that understand that are open they don't have to have experienced it but if they're open and they understand and they genuinely think wow i know someone else that's also had a similar experience or they're just someone that really truly believes you really gets you really wants to be there for you then that's a safe space to talk about the sacred experience that you're going through because you are going to go through so many different phases you're going to go through peaks and you're going to go through drops of the energy you're going to potentially go through dark nights of the soul 
all your fears will come up to the surface but then also you will find like yourself in utter bliss state it's finding community or people just just someone that can have this resonance with you then that's amazing you know that really can be so supportive so yeah get the comments going down below man get chatting if you feel like you need someone that you want some resonance with that someone that's experienced the same thing as you ask some questions i'm going to be there too in the comment section i just want this to be a safe space if i can help support people through their journey then i feel like i'm winning at life because that to me is sacred this is a sacred experience i believe you i trust you trust yourself your gut will guide you to the right people. Sometimes you might tell people and you'll recognize that reaction of like, mm -hmm. or they'll just be like silent and then they'll change the subject straight away. And like sharing it, you're like, oh gosh, you just feel a bit like, oh, I just wish I never said that. I just wish I never shared that. So just keep it sacred. You'll know who your people are. You'll know who will get it. And just speaking to my friend yesterday, she told me about another person that's kind of around this space and community that has also experienced it. And she has had really similar experiences to me. I didn't even know all of this. And then when I was sharing with her yesterday what I experienced, she was like, oh my gosh, so-and-so also experienced the same thing. So I'm like, oh, right. Okay. So there is this like similar kind of energy, this similar flow that happens, these similar realizations the realizations that align with this other woman is questioning spiritual beliefs that's been a massive one for me and then even just going for this walk with amber yesterday she was telling me about her questioning her spiritual beliefs when she had her second awakening and it's really interesting to see that you know resonance and that that similarity and that synchronicity there because it's not something that i realized that she'd experienced even like myself so but just talking to her about it yesterday, I was like, I feel so seen, I feel so heard, and I feel so understood right now. And that is so nourishing to my soul. You're nurturing my soul by just like resonating. So yes, please everyone, just keep it sacred, keep it real, keep it true, be picky, you know, like not everyone's gonna understand, not even the people that are on the spiritual journey, but especially the people that are not on the spiritual journey, you know? <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm thinking about some of the people I've told and just like their reactions and stuff. And it's like, sometimes I, I like, there's been times where I felt a little bit like, oh no, like I'm feeling anxious because like one of the awakenings happened when I was in a hotel and I talked about this on my first ever episode of Kundalini. It's like a long podcast episode where I talk about my whole full Kundalini awakening. To cut the story short, I was in a hotel and this was like my second Kundalini activation. It just happened the second time. Mine was all spontaneous, by the way. Like I didn't ask for this. This just happened. It's not something to take lightly and I definitely am not sure how I feel about getting Kundalini activations. I don't think you should be invoking your Kundalini personally I think it should just happen when it's meant to happen naturally but yeah I was in this hotel room and then this Kundalini awakening happened to me in there again the next day I was just like I don't know how I'm gonna be because we had a party to go to me and my family and I was like I don't know how I'm gonna be like I feel like I don't know how to be around people right now because I just feel so like sensitive and also I'm still trying to process this experience that I've had so I've noticed since I've always been quite observant anyway and a little bit introverted but like since this whole Kundalini awakening I've become even more introverted and I've become even more you know like conscious about how much I open myself up to energy and people so I'm more so like observant being the one that is a little bit more quiet in a group of people and you know maybe sitting with one person that I feel really comfortable with and then only just staying there because I'm just like this is just easier for me to just be here because like also for me with my awakening is that I just had the ability to see the truth in everyone so if someone's coming to me with like this character that they're portraying I can see right through it and it might not necessarily be or it well that a lot of the time it, it it's not been authentic but I've met people and I know people that are so incredibly authentic when someone comes to me and I can see that they're putting on a facade it's very 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 obvious to me and it's been mostly since this awakening like I can really see through and beyond the veil of the truth I've talked about this so many times in so many other kundalini videos that I've talked about especially the signs and symptoms one you can kind of feel into like who's open and who's not and you know what sort of person that you can talk about this with but yeah talk down below my loves 
get chatting in the comments. This is a safe space. This is a safe place. I just want to make sure that you all feel seen and heard in your experience as well, because that is so important. And I just want to thank every single person that has watched all of my videos around Kundalini. If this is the first video you're watching and you've made it this far, thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you. Please do subscribe if you vibe or even just hit the like or the bell button. It really helps nurture the algorithm for me. I've actually got over 3k subscribers, but I'm not actually monetized, but I'm halfway. I'm like just over a little bit over halfway there. So I'm just on that journey to kind of get there. I'm trying to grow my channel so yeah it just really helps the algorithm push my videos out more so more people can find these videos because it's so important that people are aware of these things even though i'm saying to keep your experience sacred i am very much happy to share this this is a part of my purpose to speak out and to share my experiences i i know that for a fact it's been something i've worked on for a long time trying to figure out why i'm here on earth why am i here why am i doing here what am i what is my purpose that has been a big thing that i've questioned all my life and i know that i've been told many many times especially by the medicine of ayahuasca and the mushrooms you know nature's medicine i've been told that this is a part of my purpose to share my truth so that other people feel seen within their experience so i i this is important that i share my journey this just feels very right you ain't gonna get no bullshit with me basically i will keep it so damn real <laughs> and please 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 keep being you try not to hide yourself keep shining your light you know show up authentically in integrity to who you really are express yourself the way you want to express yourself be kind be gentle to yourself and to everyone else and yeah just again thank you so much for watching these videos i'm beyond grateful and yeah i think i'll leave it there much love to you all Mwah. stay tuned for next week's episode bye love you lots bye 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 um <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think that's it. Okay, I don't know what I was. I don't know what I was trying to do then. I feel like I was like, do I do a different end to that? And then I was like, actually no, fuck it. All right, bye. <laughs>